Hello and welcome to a not so awesome review. And today we're looking at the Jada Metals diecast Bumblebee from Transformers last night. This is a 124 scale uh, diecast metal car replica of his vehicle mode, I guess would be the best way to put it. I already did a review on the Walmart exclusive hot rod if you guys want to check it out. Um, not going to say much because once again, I've, I've really, I've only only reviewed one other car being hot rod and but there's not much to say when it comes to reviewing cars aside from uh, I, this, it looks good. Um, now my last one, the uh, the hot rod did have some paint imperfections. If I'm remembering correctly while looking at this, uh, Bumblebee is pretty perfect. I don't remember anything off the top of my head that stuck out. Um, and I do want to say I don't think the camera is actually doing the paint job of the car justice. It's got like a sparkly, I don't even know what color you would call this, it's yellow, but like an orangey yellow. It's really sparkly, really shiny, looks really good, don't know if the camera's picking it up that well or not. Anyways, uh, let's just start off with the coin really quick. As you can see here, it comes with a bumblebee coin, his head right there. They're supposed to be 100% metal, it's cold, it's heavy, so you know, I'm not going to question it. Autobots, Autobot logo, Transformer last night, 2017, and legal stuff, and, uh, yeah, I do like these coins, um, there's the Hot Rod one for comparison, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're just cool, I mean, there is the Autobot logo on the side, but it is cool just to be able to see, like, okay, anyone comes to your house and sees, yeah, that's Bumblebee, though, Yellow Camaro, um, I think most people would think Bumblebee, at least that's my opinion, uh, yeah, so the car itself is definitely, like I said, really nice. I really like the paint job, but I don't know if it's coming across well on camera. Um, you can see they did paint the black right here. This is all one solid piece, and now that I'm getting a closer look, it does look like there is a little bit of paint kind of coming off, where you can see the uh, orange yellow underneath. And then the edges could be a little bit better. It's a little bit black right there. But for the price point, it's not a bad deal. Uh, this is all part of one solid piece. So this is all painted on. I think, yeah, right here could have been a little bit cleaner. On the, I don't even know what you want to call that. But yeah, and there is, I think, a little bit of silver. Maybe that's still more black on the car right there. So there are small imperfections. But like I said, 20 bucks not bad they do make them in different scales uh i can't remember what they are off the top of my head i want to say 32nd and 64 but i'm not sure basically hot wheel size and then the size in between this and the hot wheel um if you want to take a quick look at the detail on the car the chevy logo and everything the headlights look awesome i really like how the front of the car looks uh the hood right here the windshield which is a little dirty it does attract dust pretty easily the top of the car the back here under Chevy logo Transformers the last night written there the exhaust looks pretty good the Autobot logo which I believe is on both sides you can see it right there the brakes are red the tires are rubber though they're really thin you can see right there the inside of it is detailed too um, I'll try and get some close-ups in a second for you guys. You can see, it's it's nice. There's a sticker for like the speedometer and everything inside. There's an Autobot logo on the uh, steering wheel. The door panel is nice. Uh, basically, everything that opens up here are both doors. Once again, rubber uh, mirrors right here. The hood opens up. Engine, you know, not that much detailing in color, but it's there. It's plastic, and uh, I want to say it's it says uh, Camaro. I was like trying to sort of that's a Camaro or Chevy or Transformers. Not this Camaro. So open the trunk here, and uh, you know definitely cannot fit anything in here. So pretty realistic, I suppose. Never actually seen one in person. So yeah. Then we have a Bumblebee back here, and I like how this one looks compared to the hot rod which i'll get right here and just in terms of color um bumblebee has a lot more yellow on him than the hot rod did so 
there's that the logo there legal stuff and uh yeah like i said car reviewing not much there is to say about it it does roll well um again if i recommend it as a toy yeah somebody a little bit older because they are heavy you don't want you know your kids to hurt themselves with this it's a collector's piece i think it looks really nice um if you don't want you know your kid to hurt themselves with this if you think it's too big like i said they do make smaller sizes that you can look into i still haven't seen walmart like keeping them in stock though my walmart sucks at stocking things in the toy section anyway so you know just check every time you go they're not with the actual transformers they're where all the uh, hot wheels and all that stuff goes in case you're wondering and um size comparison wise like i said this is a 124 scale uh this is next to its toy counterpart the only version of uh, the last night bumblebee that we have right now aside from i think the uh, was a one step changer two step changer you can see it's way bigger um I don't have my Voyager class Optimus with me right now, so apologize for that, but it, it it doesn't scale, basically. It might scale with a leader class a little bit, but I would assume that this is still going to be a little bit bigger than it should be next to it, because it is, it just, it's bigger. Um, this, I, it, it has issues, I mean, it's, it's not great I'm not, I'm not talking about the car mode i think the car mode for the most part is all right though they could have at least put a deco of the uh autobot logo and it is a few days from 4th of july in case you're wondering what those noises in the background are uh compared to hot rod you know the size is good i think you know all of these together will look awesome i haven't been able to get my hands on uh, Optimus yet or I think it's Barricade and I'm not sure who the other one was but I am going to try and get all of them try and do a quick mini review on the uh, rest of those he does scale well though with the alternative not alternative uh, alternators line he will not scale well with the alternative line because that is actually a smaller scale one thing I do wish is that the wheels moved I mentioned this with the hot rod review like the wheels move on uh, the alternator line but then again this thing actually transforms so there is that i know the fact that it doesn't transform is definitely something a lot of people will not be happy about but you know getting let, let's say you want to get the masterpiece bumblebee uh from the movie that's coming out toys r us hopefully sometime this month from what i hear i know it's already available overseas uh, eBay has them for like a hundred ish dollars. I'm hoping they're going to be in the sixty dollar range. That's what I'm really hoping because I don't want to pay a hundred dollars. But I think that would look really nice. I know that that version of Bumblebee is based off the 2007 movie and not the current movie. So you know, you you may be kind of like, oh, I don't want to display, you know, this model with that model. But I still think it would look cool to have the diecast car and a masterpiece Bumblebee standing next to it or something so there is that uh, i would say it would look cool with the toy but the toy honestly when you transform it it's not even accurate in very many ways uh just i'm not even going to get into that i might customize that toy to make it look better but uh even then uh the way the doors and everything transform it's not accurate to the actual uh way he looks in the movies so yeah, and just for the heck of it, here is, I don't even remember how you spell these, the Cree, Creo, I think, Bumblebee. Does it scale well? Not really. I mean, a human would be like, yeah, and technically Bumblebee would be like giant, but you can't put him in the driver's seat, and it looks awesome doing that. That's actually what I had him doing earlier, was just sitting in there. Anyways, um, that's pretty much my review for this. It's not a great review. I know I didn't get into too much detail. I did go into a lot more detail in talking about it, uh, this line, when I did the Hot Rod review. So if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. Uh, I feel like I'm all mumbly and out of the place. It's really hot right now. It is literally in, like, the hundreds, and it's still kind of, like, it's it's nighttime. See, I'm... Words. Okay, I'm going to go before I keep rambling on. Uh, comic reviews are coming. Hopefully, I'll have one up Monday. We'll see how that goes. 
Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.